Introduction. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, students. Please sit down. Children, today we will start a new lesson, algebraic expressions. You will know how algebraic expressions are formed, how they can be combined, how we can find their values, and how they can be used. So let us start a lesson. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define variable and constant, explain the formation of algebraic expressions, identify factors and coefficients of a term, discuss addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions, find the value of an expression. Expressions that contain variables and constants are called algebraic expressions. The letters such as x, y, l, m and so on are used to denote variables. So a variable can take various values and its value is not fixed. On the other hand, a value that does not change is a constant. So in an equation, 7x square plus 5xy plus 8, x and y are the variables and 8 is a constant. Algebraic expressions are formed by combining variables and constants with the help of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Let us see how the algebraic expression 6x plus 9 is formed. It's really simple. First multiply variable x with constant 6. Then add a constant 9 to the product. Similarly, 14y minus 30 is obtained by first multiplying y by 14 and then subtracting 30 from the product. So, children, you see these expressions were obtained by combining variables with constants. You can also obtain expressions by combining variables with themselves or with other variables. Now we will discuss what terms of an expression and their factors are. Consider the expression 9x plus 4. In forming this expression, we first form 9x separately as a product of 9 and x and then added 4 to it. So, you have seen these expressions have parts which are formed separately and then added. We call these parts as terms. That means terms are added to form expressions. How many terms are there in 5x plus 3y? That's right, it has two terms. A term is a product of its factors. But what are these factors? Look at this term. We say that 3, x and y are the factors of the term 3xy. Do you know we can also represent 5xy plus 10 by a tree diagram? See, the dotted lines are used here for factors and continuous lines for terms. Remember, the factors cannot be further factorized. The numerical factor of a variable term is called its coefficient. See in the term 5xy, 5 is the coefficient of the whole term. Let us take this expression, 12x square plus 4xy plus 4y square. It has three terms and 12, 4, 4 are the coefficients of the terms. When terms have the same algebraic factors, they are called like terms and when terms have different algebraic factors, they are called unlike terms. Let us see an example. We have an expression 4xy minus 5x plus 3xy plus 2. Now, look at the terms 4xy and 3xy. The factors of 4xy are 4, x, and y. Likewise, the factors of 3xy are 3, x, and
and y. So both the terms have same algebraic factors, which means 4xy and 3xy are like terms. On the other hand, the terms 4xy and minus 5x have different algebraic factors. So they are unlike terms. Children, see this algebraic expression. It has only one term. This type of algebraic expression is called mononomial. Now, is 5m plus 2 a mononomial? No, it has two terms. This type of algebraic expression is called binomial. The expression 6a plus 4b minus 2c is not a binomial because it has three terms, right? So, this type of algebraic expression is called trinomial. Remember, all algebraic expressions that have one or more than one terms are called polynomials. Therefore, mononomials, binomials and trinomials are all polynomials. We can only add or subtract like terms. But why is it so? Think of it like this. On a table, we have three pencils and two books. We cannot add the three pencils to the two books because they are not the same kind of objects. Now, if we get another three pencils and five books, altogether, we now have six pencils and seven books. Now again, we can't combine these objects since they are different. However, if we remove one pencil from six pencils, then we are left with five pencils, but still we have the seven books. So you can't say it's quite similar with algebra. We can only add or subtract only similar objects. We have two algebraic expressions, 5x plus 4 and 3x plus 7. Let us find their sum. Identify like terms here, then add them. So, 5x and 3x are like terms and so are 4 and 7. Further, adding 5x and 3x, the sum is 8x. Adding 4 and 7 is equal to 11. Therefore, the sum is 8x plus 11. Now, the question is to subtract 4ab plus 10b minus 16a from 30ab plus 12b plus 14a. We have to use the same criteria as we have used for the addition. Bring the like terms together, taking into consideration the sign of the terms. So, on rearranging, we get 26ab plus 2b plus 30a. See this square? It has an area equal to L square. If the value of L is equal to 4 centimeters, then what would be the area of this square? That's right, it would be 16 centimeters square. So children, there are a number of situations in which we need to find the value of an expression. Consider the expression 4x minus 5. If the value of x is equal to 4, then the given algebraic expression is equal to 4 into 4 minus 5, which is equal to 16 minus 5, that is 11. Similarly, if m is equal to minus 2, then value of the expression m square minus 2 will be equal to 2. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Expressions that contain variables and constants are called algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions are formed by combining variables and constants with the help of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Expressions are made up of terms and a term is a product of factors. The coefficient is the numerical factor in the term. Terms which have the same algebraic factors are called like terms 
and terms which have different algebraic factors are called unlike terms. Any expression with one or more terms is called a polynomial. Only like terms are added or subtracted during addition or subtraction of algebraic expressions.